Okay. But Jermaine Pratt said, nope, it's over for them. But J.K. stiffed on him for a 75 yard TD. Let's get this. kept seeing it over and over and over again of the week 17 three years ago play when the Cincinnati Bengals beat us to get the Buffalo Bills in the playoffs I just kept seeing it and I'm like that was three years ago half them players on that team is not even on the team anymore but since that loss, and because of that loss, we got Lamar Jackson, we got Mark Andrews, we got Zeus Jr. Oh, then, you know, we did have Hurst, but Hurst turned into JK and Pratt. You should know JK by now with that 75 yarder. As the old Cincinnati Bengals say, when you put out that tweet, child, please. But let's get to the stats. Lamar Jackson first half. They had Mark 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 Ingram in there before the game was even out of hand. After the game was out of hand, I'm cool. Put him in there, or whatever. But. Why? You know J.K. and Gus is the dude, but anyway. Then it was a third and ten. I'm thinking, okay, they might do a little quick pass or something. They try to run Lamar. G. Row tried to run Lamar up the middle, and I'm like, oh my goodness, please don't let this start in this game. We don't, we don't need this. But they, 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 they corrected it. Thankfully, they corrected that. Lamar threw a dime. I mean, straight dime to Marquise. He ain't Hollywood, he Marquise. And he straight up dropped it. He redeemed himself later, and I'm going to get to that. But then Lamar threw that dime to Boykin. Boy, and... When Boykin gets his chance, he capitalizes up, capitalize on him, and that's what I like. He don't, he like, uh, uh-uh, I ain't playing, but he he catches him. So, and that was a forty-three yarder too. So, all them people that tell about Lamar can't throw and all that, the dude can throw when he has the time. He can throw, even though the wide receivers ain't getting open like that. He can throw. Then the one thing also I liked um, in the first half that I saw was Lamar had two tilt passes. The first one landed on the ground. The second one got intercepted. And then the def- Cincinnati defense ran down the field. Cele- they all celebrating and everything. But the score is 10-0 to 0 at that moment. I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm confused. You, your, your offense literally... It's going three and out, three and out. And then right after that celebration, three and out. I'm like, what are y'all celebrating for? Like, what? What? Then we get the ball back. Lamar, instead of just throwing it like he was, he started pump faking. And you can see the dudes, they jumping and everything and after that, it was it was a wrap for us. His that last tip pass, and I I like that quick adjustment Lamar did. But the time of possession in this, oh my goodness! They if, if we are able to do that in the playoffs and score, huge boost for us. Hopefully, we can get this get it going. But man, that was huge. Um. Then Marquise, he redeemed himself. 
He caught this. It was a low pass. Only where he could catch it. And that was smart on Lamar. Only where he can catch it. Because if he couldn't catch it, it was just going to be on the ground. But Marquise adjusted himself, went down to the bottom, got it. You know, it don't, it don't take long for him to get to the bottom with his shot height. Just, just kidding. I had to throw that out there. But still, he caught it. He redeemed himself. Because that drop pass, that was a beautiful thing. And it was a dime. And, then, and that's all. And the thing about it, half of that already happened in pretty much the first quarter. That Marquise TD, I believe that was in the second quarter. But then they, then the Bengals, they start moving the ball a little bit, and they got their first first down. And when they said that was a first first down, I was like, what? And this was in the second quarter with three minutes and like thirteen seconds left. What? It took you that long? That shows you how the defense was playing. And then they got their field goal, and that was their three. After that, that was it. That was it. It seemed like they were trying to match earlier this year when they just had three. <laughs> I had to say it. I had to say it. But, all right, then second half comes. And that's... I'm going to have to get his jersey. Mr. Slice. In case you don't know who Mr. Slice is, that is J.K. Dobbins. This dude is special. Spe I still can't believe the Ravens got him. Six straight games with a Russian TD. The first rookie running back to do that well, the second rookie running back to do it. The first one was Alvin Kamara for the New Orleans, but now it's JK and they're both tied. This is how special this dude is. But man. Dude the beast man. I'm like, I <laughs> wait till I get to the stats. Screw it, I'm going to get to it right now. He has 13 carries for 160 yards. 12.3 average. And the mainly that big gap was that 75 yarder. You, you should go ask Pratt, Pratt about that. You, you should ask Pratt about that. He, he was close with it. <laughs> they deserve it. Kelsey on that three years ago. You know how much they hurt the Ravens fans? But it helped us too. But still. Then Lamar, he was, he, they called some wrong plays for him, but the majority of them were scramble yards because it literally was nobody open. But he became the first quarterback in NFL history to have back to back thousand yards rushing. And not only that, Lamar, through another TD to Mar Marquise. In Hollywood, I almost said Hollywood a little bit, but I was like, uh, you ain't there yet. I got, I, I'm going to try to stick. You got playoffs? Playoffs? You you get a little better, you're going to become Hollywood again. But then Lamar, he got them rushing yards. You know, they either cooking the, t uh, the time it's like no slowing them down like literally no slowing them down and then the defense comes out there and they call pass interference on my boy MP Juice man they didn't even show the replay because they were pretty much in the red zone and they didn't even show the replay of that pass interference and I was like he was like Heated. And I seen on one because if you know MP Juice, man, he he'll get in your face. The referee even like walked up to him like, oh my god, they trying to kick him out. They trying to get under his skin. So he kept yapping, yapping. Chuck came over there, you know, pat him, kind of turn him around, talking to him a little bit. He, he was MP Juice, man, still going, still going. Next play happened right after all that. 
Next play happened. MP Juice Man interception, baby. Ridiculous. Shut that whole thing down. But man, and that's that's still in the third quarter. Then I was surprised. Then the Ravens get back out there, and I see number two. I'm like, that's Huntley. What the, what the heck going on? I'm all over there chilling. I'm like third quarter. They didn't pull this dude out on third quarter, so that's pretty much kind of like a, a rest, because I guess they just making sure he ready for next week. And uh, man, killing it, just straight killing it. So Huntley comes out there. He really don't do nothing. Hands the ball off to J.K. J.K. cuts. <laughs> Pratt. I had to say it again. I said it three or four times already. He deserves it. But 75 yard. And the thing, I step, you're going to see in my reaction videos if you check it out. I step out the room. I'm thinking they're going to do a little, you know, a little something real quick. And I kind of peek back in. He is gone. And I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> he was killing it. Oh, man, he was killing it. Oh, wow. So, it was 404 yards total rushing. Mm, mm, mm. Chuck Clark gets some interception at the end of the game. Well, kind of the end, but it was pretty much over anyway. But he got his first interception. I was like, that's sweet. That's sweet. And they try to say it wasn't the interception at first. And I'm like, clear as day, you can see it. We trying to make sure the ball didn't, didn't wobble. This dude had that, but nobody would touch him. He just like had it in his hands. I'm like, come on, y'all. Game is over. I understand the ref was trying to give the Bengals probably a touchdown just in case if one of them was on a fantasy or something. But come on, game is over. But talking about the Bengals, this all I'm gonna say since I've talked about prep for a good couple of minutes. AJ Green, I like AJ Green, but he's out of there. You can tell his body language. This dude wants out. Like he's done. He's done with this team. I, he's done. <laughs> I wonder where he's gonna go next year. And this was his first full year. He's fully healthy. Did not miss a game, I believe. So I'm interested because he still has it. He caught a one hand. He caught it one hand out of bounds, but he caught it with one hand. And that was I was like, he still got it. He still got it. But let's get to these stats. Lamar Jackson, 10 of 18, 113 yards. One interception. The tip pass I speak about. And three TDs. Cooking. JK, 160 yards. You're out of it now. You know what I'm saying? Lamar had 97 yards. Rushing. Majority of them was scramble. And I don't even think. I don't even. Man. I kept seeing him run out of bounds, out of bounds. But he didn't really get touched that much. I don't even think he. Did he even get sacked? I don't even think he got sacked once in this game. Gus Edwards, 12 carries, 60 yards, 5 for five average. That's right. Tip down. There y'all. My boy, Dev. He had one carry, 22 yards. Man, when he gets his chance, he going to shine. I just don't know when. Just don't know when. But, hey, as long as we keep winning, that's all I'm about. Justice Hill, two carries, 21 yards. Huntley has six carries for five yards. Six carries. I understand you're trying to milk the clock, but dang. I ain't know he had that many carries. Oh, Mark Ingram, I skipped over him. Nine carries, 39 yards. And that was like at the end, end. You can, I don't know. He just, I don't, I don't think he got it anymore. I don't know. He seems like a little slower this year to me. 
But pues our receiving court, Mark Marquise Brown. Five receptions, 41 yards, two TDs. Longest was 18. It should have been longer than that, but Miles Boykin caught his, and Miles Boykin had two targets. Miles Boykin caught one, the other one, Miles Boykin could not jump that high. It was a little bit, just tip of the fingers, but he caught that one, and that was a touchdown for 43 yards, and that was it for Miles Boykin. And... Marquise had eight targets, too, at that. And Mark Andrews had seven targets, but he caught four of them, 27 yards. And they was like, it had, I seen one, they had, what, like two, three guys, like, looking at just him. And we need to use that because with the playoffs next week, we could use that as sometimes just have them run out there and just, don't even, it's not even meant to go to him, but you never know, you know. And for as the defense, we had zero sacks. But QB hits, we had two QB hits. Pass deflections, we had eight. But the tackles was there. And the thing about it, the defense for as this game really, you can't really go off their stats like that, even though we have two interceptions. But with Peters and Chuck Clark, but the time of possession in this game was so lopsided. Defense was getting them three and out so fast. And how long we was holding the ball, the defense was well, well rested. And, man, I can't find the, the time of possession, but, man, it was it was ridiculous. Literally, it was ridiculous. Total yards for Baltimore, 525 yards. Cincinnati had 195 yards. Baltimore had 24 first downs. Cincinnati had 10. And just with just them total yards, that tells you how much Baltimore was just literally getting like first down, first down, first down, first down, just for that time of possession. Defense is well rested. Defense plays lifestyle. And that's what we have to get in this uh, playoffs. We have to do that. So we see who we're going to play. Right now I have seen a lot of people say Tennessee. That's going to be interesting. But we will see. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share. Thanks, everybody, for support. God bless.